He is known for his work in revising idealism to integrate with empiricism, naturalism, and pragmatism. He is recognized for his extensive contributions to the philosophy of religion in his 22 books on various philosophical topics. His name is William Ernest Hawking. Deep in the halls of Harvard University, a brilliant mind pondered the intricacies of philosophy. His name was William Ernest Hawking, an American idealist philosopher who sought to bridge the gap between idealism and the empirical world. Inspired by his mentor, Josiah Royce, Hawking dedicated his life to integrating philosophy with the realms of empiricism, naturalism, and pragmatism. Hawking firmly believed in the power of experience as a foundation for metaphysics. For him, truth was not merely an abstract concept but something that had to be tested and proven through practical application. He famously proclaimed, that which does not work is not true. This statement encapsulated his philosophy, emphasizing the importance of practicality and functionality in determining the validity of ideas. While Hawking's primary focus was the philosophy of religion, his intellectual pursuits spanned a wide range of topics. He authored 22 books that explored diverse subjects such as human rights, world politics, freedom of the press, philosophical psychology, and education. His contributions extended beyond academia, as he served as the president of the Metaphysical Society of America in 1958 and led a groundbreaking study on missions in mainline Protestant churches in 1932. Hawking's legacy was marked by his unwavering commitment to education and social welfare. His layman's inquiry called for a shift towards empowering local communities, promoting education, and fostering a deeper understanding and respect for different religions. His ideas challenged traditional methods of evangelizing and conversion, advocating for a more inclusive and compassionate approach. As the protagonist of his story, William Ernest Hawking's philosophy not only shaped the field of philosophy but also left a profound impact on society. His belief in the importance of practicality and integration continues to inspire generations of thinkers, encouraging them to seek truth through experience and apply their knowledge for the betterment of humanity. William Ernest Hawking, born in 1873, grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, in a family of Cornish-American heritage. He attended public schools and showed a keen interest in academia from a young age. After completing high school, Hawking took on various jobs, including mapmaking and illustration, before enrolling at Iowa State College of Agriculture and Mechanical Arts in 1894, with the intention of becoming an engineer. However, everything changed when Hawking came across a profound work by William James called The Principles of Psychology. This book ignited a deep passion for philosophy within him, leading him to make a life-changing decision. Determined to pursue his newfound love for philosophy, Hawking worked as a teacher and high school principal for four years to save enough money to attend Harvard University. In 1899, Hawking finally realized his dream and entered Harvard, where he had the privilege of studying under the guidance of renowned philosopher Josiah Royce. Immersed in the world of philosophy, Hawking's thirst for knowledge grew even stronger, and he earned his master's degree in 1901. Seeking to broaden his horizons, he embarked on a journey to Germany in 1902, studying at institutions such as Göttingen, where he became the first American student of Edmund Husserl, and in Berlin and Heidelberg. After his enriching experience in Germany, Hawking returned to Harvard and dedicated himself to his doctoral studies. In 1904, he successfully completed his PhD, solidifying his position as a respected philosopher and thinker. Hawking's education and exposure to various philosophical schools of thought molded his unique perspective, preparing him for the profound contributions he would make to the field. William Ernest Hawking's early life and education laid the foundation for his future endeavors. His journey from being a mapmaker and printer's devil to becoming a philosopher exemplified his unwavering commitment to knowledge and personal growth. By immersing himself in the works of influential philosophers like William James and studying under renowned scholars, Hawking developed a deep understanding of philosophy and its implications for life. William Ernest Hawking, a prominent philosopher and professor, embarked on a remarkable journey of intellectual exploration and personal growth. His career spanned across various prestigious institutions, where he left an indelible mark on the field of philosophy. Hawking's passion for understanding the meaning of God and human experience led him to delve into the realms of comparative religion and moral philosophy. After beginning his teaching career at Andover Theological Seminary, Hawking made his way to the West Coast, joining the philosophy faculty at the University of California, Berkeley. However, it was his time at Yale that truly shaped his academic pursuits. As an assistant professor, Hawking published his first major work, The Meaning of God in Human Experience, which laid the foundation for his future philosophical endeavors. In 1914, Hawking returned to Harvard, where he eventually became the esteemed Alfred Professor of Natural Religion, Moral Philosophy, and Civil Polity. His contributions to academia were not limited to the classroom, 
During World War I, Hawking served as one of the first American civil engineers to reach the front lines in France. This experience profoundly impacted him and led to the publication of his book on morale, showcasing his deep understanding of the human condition. Hawking's passion for knowledge extended beyond his teaching duties. He regularly lectured at the Naval War College, imparting wisdom on subjects such as morale, psychology, and leadership. Inspired by a trip to China, he published a study on the Chinese philosopher Zhu Xi, highlighting the scientific nature of his thought and its potential lessons for the Western world, particularly in relation to democracy. In 1936, Hawking was invited to give the prestigious Hibbert Lectures at Oxford and Cambridge Universities in England. These lectures reflected his evolving perspective on the relationship between Christianity and other world religions, as he began to advocate for a universal religion that transcended cultural boundaries. Hawking's belief in the importance of unity and understanding among different faiths resonated with many. Throughout his illustrious career, Hawking received numerous accolades, including his election to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and the American Philosophical Society. In 1943, after years of dedicated service, he retired to Madison, New Hampshire, where he continued to contemplate and write until his passing 23 years later. Hawking's philosophy remains relevant and thought-provoking even today. His unwavering pursuit of knowledge and his willingness to explore different perspectives serve as an inspiration for us all. As we navigate the complexities of daily life, Hawking's teachings remind us of the importance of seeking understanding, embracing diversity, and striving for personal and intellectual growth. William Ernest Hawking, a renowned philosopher, found himself at the center of a transformative journey in the early 1930s. Leading the commission of appraisal, Hawking embarked on a mission to study the foreign mission work of six Protestant denominations in India, Burma, China, and Japan. This venture aimed to examine the evolving role of Western missionaries in other cultures and address the challenges they faced. During their travels, the commission members engaged with both missionaries and local communities, seeking to understand their perspectives. It was during their time in China that Hawking had the opportunity to consult with Pearl S. Buck, who was also questioning the purpose and impact of missions. This encounter proved pivotal, as Buck's critique aligned with the Commission's observations. The culmination of their findings was the Hawking Report, officially titled Rethinking Missions, a Layman's Inquiry After 100 Years. This report ignited intense debates and discussions surrounding the changing dynamics of missionary work. The Commission advocated for a shift in focus, emphasizing education and welfare, as well as transferring power to local groups. They recommended a reduced emphasis on evangelizing and instead encouraged a respectful appreciation for local religions. In addition to these recommendations, the Commission recognized the importance of transitioning leadership and institutions to the local communities. This approach aimed to empower them and foster a sense of ownership over their own cultures and traditions. Furthermore, the report called for reorganization within the United States, proposing the creation of a single organization for Protestant missions to enhance coordination and effectiveness. The impact of the Hawking Report was far-reaching. It challenged long-held beliefs and practices within the missionary community, prompting a re-evaluation of their purpose and methods. By advocating for a more culturally sensitive and collaborative approach, Hawking and his fellow commission members paved the way for a more inclusive and respectful engagement with other cultures. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.